people are, are like happy to be alive at the bottom. The first ever Giver to the River was part race and part survival test. The course shot riders down the Big Bam ski hill with some sections so steep and narrow that you weren't so much piloting the course as the course was piloting you. One of the race's organizers, Gabe Weeb, said you won't see a course this tough in sanctioned bike parks like Whistler or Silver Star. It gets my heart going every single time. I've ridden it maybe 20, 30 times now and it's still... I, every, there's this one section called the knife edge and it's about a meter wide, maybe 100 meters long and just steep and loose and dirt, dusty. And um, every single time I come up on it, I just pray, to, pray that I'm going to be alive at the bottom. As you can see in this GoPro video shot by one of the riders, the knife edge leaves pretty much no room for error. The trail is so steep you can barely slow yourself down with a steep drop into the bush on either side. And not every rider was lucky enough to make it out unscathed. Despite going over his handlebars, Wes was still able to finish the race and it was because so many people shared that tough attitude that so many riders came out for the race. Uh, we had an awesome turnout, like I can't believe this turnout because it is a long weekend, we're expecting maybe 10 people, but we had 15 racers coming from Grand Prairie, from Dawson Creek, Fort St. John. Um, yeah, I'm like shaking because it was just, yeah, overjoyed with how well it went. Putting together a mountain bike course like this is no small feat. Weeb said they started working on the trail all the way back in February. Pretty much every weekend we've been out here camping, working, you know, eight, ten hour days, just cutting brush, digging dirt, like building these jumps. Brett Stevenson ended up taking home first place, but just surviving the race was a victory in its own right. Peter Houston, CJDC TV Sports, Taylor.